fits on. What is the beef, Chief? This is where we smash out the beef. I'm your host, Baron Marth, and I'm joined, as always, by the legend himself, the one and only Angry Link. How you doing, buddy? Suppressing. Suppressing the rage and anger. Well, I'm, I'm trying to sell it as I'm rage-filled and all that, but there's Grr. times I'm sort of quite chilled and calm. Well, he, well, it's more of a focused, laser-focused anger. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just fucking furious over this shit. I'm really fucking pissed, man. This is ridiculous. So... Uh, basically, the beef, this is where we lay the meat out, we beat that meat, we smash the meat, we make mince meat out of the meat. Obviously, the meat being a topic from this week or various weeks of gaming or is some... Anything which has pissed us off. Some issue with the video gaming world. Yeah, an issue this week. Control systems, control systems, control systems. Well, specifically the iOS and Android's lack of support. Lack thereof. I mean, in previous podcasts before our transformation into a our new our new style podcast where we split them up, uh, we talked a little bit about the Steel series, and I was saying that hey hey hey, iOS might have finally got their shit together. You know, they're pushing these products. They're in their Apple stores. You know, they could be trying to go down a particular support route for control. You know, third party support control this is, systems. This is the format. This could be the benchmark. This could be the way forward. Hoping that we wouldn't see something else. That was, yeah, like last year sometime, wasn't it? It sure was. Was that before you moved? Or was no. After? No, that was, was, it long that after? was before. It was not before, no. It, no. Was, it, was it wasn't before. long after, though, was it? No. And? In all of that time, what has happened? Jack. What? Absolutely Jack. Well, the only thing that's happened is I recently bought... A Bluetooth controller for my wireless device or mobile device. Excellent. Yes, um, you did. You... So I got myself all excited by the prospect of being able to enjoy some of the genres of games that I do enjoy, but can't enjoy with a touchscreen control system. Which we all know is just wank. Yeah. It's, I mean, the buttons themselves are fine. It's just the, the control, the D-pad, the directions. Because you find the, oh, wait a minute, why's my thumb halfway across into the middle of the screen? I can't see my character now. Yeah. So you get all of that rubbish. But... I'm somewhat perplexed um, as to why there is no standard sort of support for gamepads or section on any stores or there's just no real, oh, go, you can go buy a gamepad, but yeah, what the fuck are you going to do with it? I don't know. I don't know. You might find some games which are up with it. You know, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just, just a real piss poor <coughs> effort from iOS or from Apple and from Google. Yeah, I mean... In regards. Uh, so... I was pose, posing, musing, but posing myself the question, why? Why? What's the reason why nobody standardised this? And I was like, that'd be, that'd be interesting, so let's explore that a little bit. I've got nothing, absolutely nothing. I've got no reason why they wouldn't or haven't standardised it. No. I couldn't justify it in any way. <clears throat> and, and, you know, I was thinking, right, well, if, if there's no reason why they haven't done it, is it is it just there's no you know call for call it call for it there's no demise. business model or something like that and I thought well they could make the products and sell them they could put a stupid price but tag then, on like, and I was like there's got so there's benefits well, surely looking, looking at Apple <clears throat> yeah looking at products that well you don't need it <clears throat> but we're still going to sell it cheap that's yeah. been Apple's business model for the last fifteen years damn right because here's a PC costs eight hundred pounds here's a Mac same spec as the PC. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred pounds. Yeah. Again, who needs an iPhone? Yeah, yeah. It's it's just who needs an iPad. And it's it's one of those things. I think the only in the last like say fifteen twenty years, Apple has only really brought out one product which changed the face of of the the system and the the area they were in. That was the iPod. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the a fair only comment. one. Yeah, everything else has been either somebody else's technology that they've just later integrated. Or yeah. rejigged, and they've sold it in a, in a slightly nicer more, package. More pleasing manner, yeah. yeah. So, But we, I mean, if, the thing is, is that, you know, if, if we talk about sort of, you know, Android and Apple, they, they could just say, all right, here's the standardised version. Yeah. I'm going to licence to anybody who wants to in- incorporate that into their product. Ooh, look at, and then um, they'd be making revenue out of it. Yeah, well, you just license you license it as an Android official product. Yeah, done. Well, but I, I, don't I, know. I don't know. I mean, sorry, I just want to like say I've got a, a few sort of glaring things like they say. 
like issues. I mean, it really confounded it for me with Pro Evo Mobile. I mean, mm-hmm. I know if we move aside the like just the front end implementation, the fact that you've got developers, some you can understand, like a two man team that spent the last two and a half years going through burning through their savings. They have to get this game out on time. We could put controller support in, but then we've got to spend six weeks doing that. We haven't got six weeks. I'm going to lose my house in four. You know, that you can understand. But yeah, someone like I Konami, fucking Konami. Yeah, I know, they've had some financial troubles, but we've seen your fucking financials. You can utilise an extra, I don't know, 20 grand to pay someone to put a fucking controller support in for a game which is designed for controllers. We've seen in the past with motion controls and stupid touch controls, football games for the uh, for mobile, yeah. they're shit. It doesn't work. It just no. doesn't work. Touch screen on any, anything where you need precision analog controls, you can't use touch screen. It's no. as simple as that. And you just need to fucking accept it. And Well, there's two ways you can go with it. You either put controller support in and have it as just a normal, like, stripped down console version, or you create a game that utilises the... The, des- the uh, architecture control of the, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so you, you you know you touch to go where you need to go rather than use your analog to or drag the person. Exactly. There's, there's there's many many clever ways that you know there's many many intelligent creative people that work in this industry that you can utilize a few of them to create you a great product. But don't just you know just do something so arbitrary and stop and just not do it. Yeah. Uh, I mean most of the games that I'd found recently as well didn't offer some talk. I mean, these are games that, like, Bluetooth controllers have been now quite a prevalent thing for, what, the last 18 months, two years? Mm, yeah. That, like, 8-bit do, or 8-bit do, they've been around for, like, say, the last three or four. Yeah, They're yeah. Knocking out some really good stuff. Some great I mean, controllers. Hell, they even support the Switch, for fuck's sake. Well, somebody has to. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, but, you know, so there's not a lot on offer. I mean, I have sort of since learned that there are uh, databases and websites where people have gone out of their own way to create these fucking things so you can find games that have got them yeah but, but then you're looking f- through a list of compatible games for the game you want to play or a game you would like to play yeah not you can't just go oh I'm going to browse through this section in the Google Play Store or the App Store that says these games support gamepads is that something as simple as that even that how little fucking effort that takes they can't be fucking bothered but the, the, I find that, you know, whenever I look through the App Store, it, it just doesn't say whether it's compatible. Some, you know, in some special scenario, there may be a statement a in little, the notes, but there's... A little fucking, like, sticker. Emblem, anything. Just in the top corner of the fucking thing. But it's, that, once again, means standardising it. Yeah, and doing work. Um, I mean, I'm looking at it outside of emulators, though. Can you see of any... Obviously, which obviously the legalities of which are <coughs> fairly contentious anyway. Um, can you see any point of having a separate Bluetooth controller for your mobile device? Yeah, it's funny because, like, you know, looking at mobile games nowadays, they've, they've got some horsepower. They run like Unreal and shit like that on these days. Mm. It's you, you can make full games on a mobile, and we've seen them. Well, you've got like stuff like. Um, the uh, Walking Dead's um, Telltale games. Mm. The fact that you've got the same game on your mobile. Yeah, well, the, yeah, exactly that. And, you know, even things like Minecraft, you know. It's just, uh, yeah, the, the Pocket's obviously a stripped down version. It's but how stripped online. down is it? Uh, it's that's just, I think, the sizes of the, the, like, the areas. Exactly, but that's the point. You've still got pretty much the game there. It's yeah. still Minecraft as I know it, you know. It's just a different control mechanism for it. So when you, you've you got games of this scale now available in the mobile space, people should be embracing that and using it. And they should be saying, hey, do you want to take a crafty little controller with you? Check this out. It's gaming on the go. Yeah. And opening that up. And people will pour so much. Ca- gamers will pour so much cash into mobile gaming as a result of it. Yes. And so for me, it's a bit like, um, it's a bit of a no brainer, really, isn't it? Well, I mean, to, to try and summarise some of the points, and I thought it would be it'd be a good idea to, to maybe come up with maybe a couple of solutions or just questions that need asking, I think. Mm. I mean, it can't take that much time and energy to implement, really. <coughs> I, I just, mean, come off it. It takes somebody to make a decision, right? So someone's got to go, it needs four buttons, four shoulder buttons, two, you know, start a select, a D-pad and two analogs. 
and rumble i don't know or haptic or you know so they just need to say yes no yes no i'm now i'm sure a group of high-end executives and some game researchers can come to that decision pretty quickly because I just fucking did. It needs to be an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, basically. I don't even think it needs to be that much. But why not? Why not yeah. just say, there we go, you've got eight buttons, a D-pad, two analogs, two control buttons, go. Because I can't fit one of them in my pocket on my keys. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's it. But I think for the for the idea of it, for the portability of it, you'd like to, even just a simple basic SNES D-pad... SNES, uh, SNES controller so you four face buttons two shoulders and a D-pad that'd be okay like you say it's it's the D-pad that's the important one yeah that's the one thing that like if there was a, a company was to release a mobile or a, sorry a smartphone with just a D-pad on it I reckon I'd fucking buy it because I can handle touch buttons I don't necessarily need them we love you directional pads but it's the D-pad it's just that directional input I need um but again, like you say, going back to it, a little bit of collaboration with some manufacturers. Like, here's, like you say, and a standardised format. Here's your standardised format. Go wild. Put fucking bells and whistles on it. You want to stick analogs on there? You stick analogs on there. But it needs to have an eight directional D pad. It needs four face buttons. It needs two shoulder buttons. Minimum. You want to stick triggers on there? Great. You can put an app onto your, onto your fucking game centre that you can map controller buttons. Great. No problems. For me, I just I, I look at this and I'm like, look, we all. If I if I said I'm going to put a game controller into your hand, what should it look like? You know in your head what it looks like. Now, to you, it may be two shoulder buttons or maybe four. It may be whatever. But the point is, there are some things that you just go, that's what it should be. Yeah. And we're not at a point now where we're limited by the capability of the CPU to deal with the fact that there's analog controls coming in you know no, it's capable of r running these things and understanding I mean, it and doing it it's uh, all an on screen one's going to be no different it, so in that situation as you it's so easy for you to make that sort of step you know that stepping stone maneuver just to the next section and go why don't we just use this control method yeah i there must be something i'm not getting but my my well, my summary is what the fuck <laughs> you know what's going on yeah well I kind of feel at this point that I've wasted okay admittedly very little money but still I've wasted money that again for the games that the majority of the games that I've found that do um, support game pads I'll play on my Playstation or Xbox because mm -hmm. it's a better experience on those and it's that kind of experience that you're sitting down for uh, recent example Asphalt I mean yeah it's an enjoyable little game but if I want a racing game, I'll go and stick on my Xbox and play Forza Horizon. Something that's fucking unbelievably good, as opposed to just really limited and basic. Because 3D, uh, sorry, 2D platformers, you can't really, there's not really a great scope that you can expand upon with that. No. So, you know, one 2D platform, but it just needs to be tight and solid. And the way that's tight and solid is with a D-pad control. Damn right. And the amount of fucking like scrolling beat-em-ups and all of those kind of games that are perfect for that precision control don't feature so every, uh, every game I see which has a press left or right or press this button to jump and that button to use the sword when I see that in the images below I'm I like, don't download it there we go it looks yeah if you were to remove all of that and you yeah. think that looks really that cool that looks like a good green game yeah shame so I'm many, never going to play it so many I've recently downloaded because of that and or sorry re uninstalled because of that and it's just just a simple thing of with the brain's and the power and the money behind these two companies that surely because all it takes is one of them to come up with the idea and then the other one will copy the other it's fine just one of you or just somebody go I'll tell you what I'm going to copy you you go first just make a decision yeah I don't care who it is I mean hell even if it's a case of someone releases an app a third party app no but, it's just ridiculous we're pandering to them just, know, just set the fucking scene and I'm just accepting it. of the situation now I think I've come to the conclusion I've gone through the five stages <laughs> I'm at what well, I'm, I'm travelling through the I'm five stages I'm over this shit alright <laughs> I'm now at acceptance I, I'm over it can't you tell got the anger no we've had the anger yeah now it's just a I disappointment before. shame disappointment shame I don't think shame remorse there. remorse maybe what about uh, the famous river in the Nile in denial. Oh right, yeah. Of <laughs> yeah. As you say, the famous river in the Nile. 
There's a river in the Nile? That's right, in the Nile. <laughs> in the Nile. Um, I think that we're pretty much going to be going around back in circles if we keep going, aren't we? Yeah, look, um, to summarise very simply in one line from me, seriously, guys, pull your fucking finger out. That's it. That's me. That's where I'm at with it. Boom. It's another beef, baby. It's wrapped, roasted, done. Um, as always, if you like what you hear, guys, show some love. You know you know what to do. Hit the like below. Also, subscribe if you want to hear some more of our ESG podcasts that are out there. Go explore. Have a look around. So, from Angry Link, it's... I'm going to go off and get some anal bleach. Woo! And for me, it's... I don't know what that was. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>